Hey my lovelies, welcome back and I hope you're all doing great. It's Opesa and I'm back with another recipe. Today we'll be making some fish and plantain, also known as bole and fish. And I hope by the end of this video, you get inspired to make some as well. So for this recipe, you will need some mackerel fish. But if you're not a fan of mackerel, go ahead and use any other fish. As you can see, I'm cutting the ones I have and then I will cut them off camera and come back later. And then this is the fish. Now I actually wash them with some vinegar, salt and lime. So I rinse that off and then that's it. So here I've got about a teaspoon of fish seasoning. You can also use stock cubes or even salt because the good thing about this fish is that you don't need that much seasoning. It's a very tasty fish. So I've gone ahead to add some oil to the fish seasoning and I'm just giving that a good mix. And then I'll rub it all over the fish. And I'm making sure to get to every part of the fish, like so. And when you're cleaning your fish, please be careful not to bruise the fish because as you can see, I actually bruise mine. Not that it makes um, any difference, but it's just good for you not to bruise it in my opinion. So yeah, I'm done with the rubbing of the seasoning. So. And you also need some plantain. I'm using ripe plantain. When buying your ripe plantain, please make sure that um, they are firm because you don't want your plantain to be soft. Otherwise, when you put them in the oven to roast, they probably get soggy. So you don't want that. And you can also use um, um, half ripe plantain. Or also, if you if you like the green plantain, which is the, the unripe one, you can use that as well but I prefer to use the ripe ones. And so I've cut them and I've also taken out the pills, as you can see, this is the last one. So yes, taking out the pill from this one too. Very easy. And then I'll just make some marks on the plantain. I'm not sure why this is done. I just saw my mother, grandmother, and every other person I know do this. If you actually know why we make these marks, please, let me know in the comment section. And after that, I'll rub some oil on the plantain to give me that um, brown even roast. I will also grease the rack as well because you want to do this otherwise your plantain will stick on them when they are roasted. So yes, placing them now on the rack. And I'm just going to roast them in the oven or bake them. You can also use your air fryer. To do that as well and then here i have my bell peppers scotch bonnets and onions to make the sauce that i'll be using for the plantain and at this point you can also add some garlic and ginger but because i already have um frozen ones so i'm going to be using that that's why i didn't add it to this So I've cleaned, washed and cut them into smaller sizes for easy blending and I'm using my food processor as you can see and I'm just going to give this a rough blend. So this is what you want it to look like. And then in a hot pan, I've added some palm oil. You can use as much or as little as you like. 
Now add in the pepper blend. And I'm going to just fry this a bit on a high heat for about 10 minutes. Then cover. And then after 10 minutes, I'll add my garlic and my ginger. Yes, yeah, so, and then I'll still cover that. I like to cook on medium heat until the water is almost dried and while that is cooking i'll go ahead and then i'll grease my air fryer so i can start air frying my fish Yeah, the sauce is dried. So yeah, so now I'm just going to start adding my seasoning and I'm adding two stock cubes, but you can add more. It's just that I prefer to do it this way because you don't want it to um, to be too sweet or too, I don't know, to be full of spices because you don't need that much seasoning when preparing this sauce. So I've added some salt and then I'm just giving that a good mix. Now add a little bit of water because um, it's a bit dry. And also if you don't have fresh garlic and ginger, you can also use the powdered ones. So give that a mix again. And then I'll just cover this and I'll allow it to fry for like 10 minutes. Yeah, so that should be ready now. So you can see the oil bubbles. When you see that, then you know that the sauce is ready. And then the plantains are ready as well so i'm just going to prep this too i'm doing this because i want it to um oh let's get mushy a bit not mushy mushy but like you understand just to squeeze it a bit that is the way it's sold back home i'm not sure why this is done as well and then the ladies always use their hand but because i don't want to get burnt so i decided to just um press it with a um, spatula and then put them in the bowl now sprinkling a little bit of salt um, for more flavor and then i'm using the oil from the sauce you know the oil that was floating on the side yeah that is the oil i'm just drizzling some on top of the planting and i just give this a good shake to make sure that um, the oil has come round or has touched every part of the plantain and then i'm just going to put them in this bowl and the fish guys this dish tasted so so good and then i'm just um pouring some of the sauce on top of the plantain it was so delicious guys i hope you get inspired to make some and enjoy at home and i'm just sprinkling some diced onions and also some coriander for garnishing thank you so much guys if you watch up to this point and if you're new here thank you you're very much welcome Please remember to put on your notification bell so you get notified whenever I post a new video. And also, I wanted to say thank you to everyone who has been sharing my videos. For your comments, guys, please keep them coming. I really enjoy reading them because they help me improve my content for you. As always, I will see you in my next one. Professor, signing out.